I believe that success breeds confidence. Confidence without previous experience and success is false. That's my opinion. It will be shattered quickly. We need to have continued, repeated success to develop the confidence in them. So, how do we do that? In practice, relevant and consistent drill work. We want to have relevant, relevant and consistent drill work. We're going to take a look at videos, okay? Now, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, you guys have, if you're quarterback coaches and stuff, you have tons of great videos, I'm sure, and all this stuff, okay? And, and, and that's tremendous. And you, you probably have great drills and all this stuff. And if I came to your practice, you'd probably have five agiles laying on the ground, and we're going to do the shuffle this and do that, and we're going to run laterally and all this stuff. And that's great. Those, those are great drills. I'm not saying that. But those are rare moments that you get that kind of stuff that produces itself in a game. I understand what we're teaching Okay, but these are just little quick things that, that we work on every day. These are everyday drills. This is my son, okay. You saw the pictures of him earlier, okay. Well, the one thing we teach our quarterbacks, I don't need to be here for you. I don't, I don't have to be here. You can do sideline drops on your own. What we do is take the ball from there. We're going to split the line. We're going, thir we're going basically 35 yards to the opposite hash. We tell them, hey, we want that ball to go nipple to nipple. We want our elbows relaxed. All that stuff. I know in Texas, okay, you're starting to come back to normal. We're starting to come back to normal in Texas, okay. Hang in there. In Texas, I know that uh, Johnny Manziel made us all fall in love with holding the football straight out like this. Okay, find one NFL quarterback that does it. You can't find any. Okay, because as soon as you do that, everything in your upper arms tenses up. It tenses up. We we'll get that ball down. We want to be relaxed. Okay, if you look at him, he stays right on the line. Okay, when they start doing this in 6th, 7th grade, 8th grade, they're all over the place. They look like a, a baby calf. Okay, he used to look like that when he weighed 135 pounds as a freshman. But he's going to go, we're going all the way to the opposite hash, and we stop. Okay, then he comes back. This is just everyday drills, and we work on these things over and over and over and over and over and over. He has to do this every single day. We want to be quick. We want to gain ground with the right foot. We want to skim the ground with the left foot. We want to be relaxed. Look how upright his shoulders are, okay? If a kid has to be hunched over when he's doing this, it's, a, it's an indicator that he has poor back muscle. And we want to develop that, okay? He used to be like this. One thing you won't see on here uh, is we go over and back, over and back. We always do it, both ways, twice. On the next one, I'll stand off to his left, so as he's dropping back, I'm off to his left at about a, you know, maybe eight yards out onto his peripheral, and I'm flashing numbers, and he has to be able to see it without looking at it. He has to be able to see it in his peripheral, because a lot of kids, they're going to take a drop, and they're going to be looking that way, and their shoulders are closed and all that stuff, and then they're going to be off balance and not in position to throw, okay? The next thing we work on, okay? Most people believe that the quarterback position is about your arm. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's about his feet. It's about his feet. And I didn't learn that. And again, I did not learn that until year 11 in the NFL when I went with Mike Martz. And for the first two weeks, I did not get a football. And we worked on three-step drops ad nauseum. Three-step drops. Because he wants you to be in place every time. So we're going to do a three-step series. He, again, choose a line. He's going to go back, boom. He's throwing as if the ball's right in the middle. What we teach is you have an ankle eye. I wish this. You want to picture your right ankle is your ankle eye. Okay? We want to tell them wherever that thing's pointed is where you're throwing. Okay? You can manipulate with your shoulders. You can manipulate with your eyes. You need to get your ankle eye in line with where you want to throw it. So we teach that over and over. 